I, I, I would have to say that. I don't think there's... I, I, I totally... Those questions. I totally forgot what you asked, to be honest. I know. <laughs>Okay, my name is Kevin Bevington, and my position is VP of Cloud Network Operations. What does the job entail as a Cloud Network Operations VP? I manage the uh, infrastructure. That's the cloud infrastructure. We have everything that in our systems on the cloud. And uh, I manage that, that entire infrastructure, uh, as well as advising development on that infrastructure and working with development closely to uh, to develop, you know, for that infrastructure. You're one of the longer tenured uh, employees here at Freecast. Yes. You know, that was the early days of streaming and, 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 right. and television. Can you give us a little history of how you, you got into Freecast? And well, I, I had launched earlier in 2011. Freecast was incorporated in 2011, of course. And early in the year of 2011, I launched uh, my own streaming channel. It was called the Outdoor Cooking Channel. When Bill Mobley first put out an ad and he, was first, he first incorporated Freecast, it caught my attention. Obviously, we had, we had an alignment uh, in terms of what he was going to do and, and, and a project that I had already, you know, started working on. So that, that's what, that's what started it. And, um, I came and interviewed and we talked and, um, within probably two days after that interview, I, I started. What prompted you to start a whole channel on your own? There's a lot of infancy in this industry. So what prompted you to, to kind of, Hey, I, a channel is what I need. Well, I, I had done competition barbecue cooking for 10 years and I I was going to launch a site of my own and just to teach you know people how to how to cook and then I decided well you know instead of that maybe maybe you should just go and and make it more of a channel was it hard to build a channel t 10 years ago or well years sure ago? it was I mean the, the technology and what was available to do those kind of things back then was was not the same as it is now but you know, obviously that that came into the early days of freecast and and a lot of the the issues that we ran into with freecast were the same you know so i had to overcome them you know once uh, once i came into freecast in that 10 years that you've been here what has been your favorite project or, or thing that you've worked on here that's a tough question um yeah, because we, you know, our, our, obviously our two big projects have been Rabbit TV and Select TV. Rabbit TV, we, we had a small team and we, you know, we had a lot of lot to do in a short period of time. And it was, it was amazing what we accomplished in that short period of time. And we actually did the launch. But Select TV is a much more mature product. And I, I, I would have to say, you know, that Select TV is probably is my favorite from that respect. Being at Freecast and seeing the, the 10 years, what's been your favorite just memory with the company? Boy, I would say, I'd have to say launching Rabbit TV. Um, and, you know, the, the gratification that came with that. That was, that was, at the time, it was a pretty, pretty big accomplishment. And, you know, that really cascaded into a whole adventure that, that we had to go through because it was a very high volume site. And, uh, we weren't quite prepared for that <laughs> and we had to learn um, very quickly uh, what we were doing um, I, I would have to say that that was launching that that product what do you think has changed the most over the last 10 years yeah the technology I mean especially in regards to apps and what's what you can do on a mobile device and what you can do on, on TVs well smart TVs came out pretty much what within a year or two that technology was so new and and trying to get streaming video on a mobile device was a challenge believe it or not and you know then you know google and came up with their technology and others came up uh, apple came out with their technology and uh, it became much easier in years that followed but in that short space of time, technology in regards to uh, to video, you know, has come a, a long, long way. What at what point did you realize that Freecast was creating you know products that were meant for the future? 
I would say the first day I came to work and we started discussing, like I, like I said, as far as what shape that product was going to take. You know, there, there were variations of what we were going, wanting to do out there, but not fully what we were going to do. And the first thing we launched actually was Freecast as a free site. And that was the first thing we launched. And, and Rabbit TV came uh, when we were approached by Telebrands, you know, which was uh, almost about a year and a half later. You know, but the very first thing we launched was a free version, and that was Freecast. And just coming up with what shape that that was going to take um, in itself was a real challenge because, you know, obviously there's there's a lot of ideas, and we we you know we looking at what was already out there and. Uh, you know, Bill, of course, had in his mind what he wanted to accomplish, you know, so we had, you know, we had to, you know, put that together with Freecast. Um, that was a fun time uh, with this company, um, you know, because, you know, being innovative was, was the name of the game. Uh, we, we had to figure it out, right? You know, so, um, you know, then came and came Rabbit TV. We had some experience, and um, still there was there was a there was a little bit of a uh, it was a big challenge trying to put something like that out there, and uh, uh, and that's where you know where they say uh, you know about the pioneers. Pioneers get get killed or whatever, you know. But you know you're you're having to educate people, and and we had to do that. We had to do that in a big way. Um, you know, it's not as much of a challenge these days, you know, but it's still there. But, um, you know, but we had to manage, we had to teach people what to expect. What's your favorite sport? Football, definitely. NFL or college? NFL, I would say. I've, I've been a Miami Dolphin fan since the late 60s, so. When you're not at Freecast, what do you do to unwind? Uh, I play Madden. Madden football. Are you are you okay at it? Or are you really good? I am really good at it. Marvel over DC. Marvel without without a doubt. Favorite Marvel character? Well, I mean, uh, of all time, I would say Captain America. I mean, that was that was the first one that when I was a kid and with a comic book that that I actually uh, you know read and so forth. So I became a big fan of Captain America. You're a barbecue expert. What's your favorite thing to cook barbecue wise? I'd have to say beef brisket. Are you messy or are you organized? I mean, I like things organized, but I'm messy. If you're stuck on an island, what would the three things would you bring? Great question. I, I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble with my wife here probably. Uh, but the very first thing would be my dog. And I would have to say a fishing pole and a smoker. Yeah, you're, you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. Claire's not going to be happy with you. What was your best vacation ever? The best trip, I'd say, is was our honeymoon, would have to say, Cancun. Do you today encountered the 25-year-old version of yourself? Do you uh, like them? Do you punch them? What, what would what would you do if you ran into 25 years? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 would have, I would have to say most young professionals that age are can be tend to be a little arrogant. I may have fit into that mold. <laughs> I don't, I don't like to think so, but I probably may have. You know, the, the biggest thing is being with age and with experience is being able to adapt to change and also to being able to identify your weaknesses. And if you can do that and be able to surround yourself with, with people that can help you uh, where your weaknesses are. That's, that's what you need to do. But at that age, it's a very difficult thing to do. You think you're the best at everything. So it sounds like you would punch them with wisdom. Yes, I would attempt to. Uh, you know, and then if that didn't work, then it would, then, you know, I'd have to haul off and slow them. <laughs> all right, Kevin, I think that's all, you know, questions for today. Appreciate your time. Uh, any, any last things to say or? Happy birthday, happy anniversary to Freecast. Hope for another 10 years uh, of this company. Thank you for, uh, for bringing me in for this.